Um, so the question of <laughs> interracial marriage, I yes, mean, come on, man. You're too smart for this. We got 43. Oh, too smart for what? We got 43 million black people in this country. And that we got means over what? 190 million white people. You're going to sit here and say that if you a, got a black person, black a white person get married, a black person, white person get married, one can't understand the other person's struggle. You've seen, it's not you've about seen Tim Wise, right? You've seen it's Reverend about Wallace. You've seen white people who understand racism Sy very well. That doesn't the mean they're going to do anything the other about thing it. The thing that is obviously well, true well, is they understand racism when you see things. Like the murder of Medgar Evers, like the murder and, of Martin Luther King, they understand and, racism. And just what fine. did they do they about it? They understand us gaining just fine, and that's why murder happened. Based on right? what? So the idea that somehow a white person can't understand our struggle? No I could way. care less what they understand. I'm no asking way. you, what have they done systematically he already to told improve you that. the opportunities he of white folks? He that. did not tell oh, me yes, that. Oh yes, you did tell me that. He did not that. tell me that. You're going to tell me that guys like Tim Wise and Reverend Wallace don't understand what about race in Tim America? Wise? They don't understand race he in America. He articulates racism. So what has he done? There are no white people that understand race in America. It. There's, there's not no a white, white person in America. There's no white people that understand race in America. There's not a white person. Them going to there's not a white person in America who has ever worked to systematically eliminate the white privilege that they benefit from vis-a-vis -vis your you, oppression. You, you are know, lying. You know, Eugene, you know Eugene, 190 so, million so, people in America. Eugene, in so, America. so if you will study that history. So, Umar, your question was, did anyone, did, has anyone black ever systematically done, I mean, no. has anyone white ever systematically Not done anything? Not systematically, systematically. white America. So, LBJ, ever, LBJ. I want you that's to get, the government. No, I don't think you that's heard the question. That's a systematic move. No, you didn't hear the question. I, what I has no you fine. did not no yeah, you I didn't did. yeah, you're did. so quick to defend white <laughs> yeah, folks that you're not listening no, i'm not trying to I literally have 45 seconds so restate the question and give the answer okay you got 45 right, seconds let's get an answer the question was mm -hmm. what has white america done right not individuals <laughs> systematically <laughs> cannot you Why won't even let me finish yeah, because well, you're you, that in love you with white folks. You won't even let me finish. Point on finish. Finish. Systematically. Excuse me. Why can't they be individuals? Uh, be individuals? All right, folks. Mr. Warmack and I'm definitely back in the building. And uh, before we go on, I like to say all these videos are I'm using uh, I'm using to critique certain behaviors by people. So I'm using this under the fair use principle. And under fair use, I'm allowed to do this. So hold no grudge, hold no pers hold no nothing personal against me. But today, I have to talk about this because I rarely go into it. Well, I had a video up a couple of days ago, but I rarely go into talking about women and specifically black women. I'm usually focused on black men, but this interview really, really, really uh, showed me something, which I didn't want to didn't want to believe but it is what it is so here we go now you saw the opening clip and I played that what I played was the Omar Johnson Roland Martin interview now depending on how I upload this I'm gonna upload this first I'm gonna upload the critique of the interview second I don't know but uh, on this I'm gonna talk about when is the black stereotype of about the woman when is it correct? Well, when you do it. There's a stereotype among black women on social media that uh, A, you can't tell them anything. B, they know it all. C, unless you're a white man, you can't tell them any information. And it goes on and on and on. I'm sure you heard this. And unfortunately, this lady right here thinks she's a a White House correspondent, I forget for who, she perfectly showed how the black stereotype about women is true. First of all, she would not give Dr. Johnson time to answer questions. Two, she interrupted I don't know how many times. Three, she didn't understand the question. She didn't. Four, she asked him, gave him answers that he didn't ask. Five, she does a lot of stuff that, well, black people do overall. And that is, when she when she mentioned about, you know, all every 43 million black people, if you listen, she should ask that question. Let me tell you something, folks. I shouldn't have to tell you this. You should already know this, but... 
Nothing is 100%. I can't say with 100% certainty that all folks do this, all folks do that. Now, I may say, hey, all people do this, but I can't with certainty say that. You should know nothing in life is 100% outside of death and taxes, and maybe a few other things. So if I say, if I make a, a quote-unquote what you call a generalized statement, what you would call it, you should know this. But that's another topic for another hand. Well, today we're talking about how this sister here is just, her ignorance is just amazing. And I'm, it, I'm tired of it because people want to cry and whine about how they're getting dealt a bad hand. But unfortunately, in this interview, she dealt herself a bad hand. She wouldn't listen for, 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 for anything. She wanted to talk talk over him. She gave him irrelevant points. And the bad part about it is she's some type of big wig as far as the reporting goes in the White House. But all she did was paint herself as a poor performer. You want to know why the Democratic Party doesn't call her? That's why. But as far as the stereotypes going, this is this is very sickening. And, and let me tell you something. Even the gentleman on the on her left, on her right, our left, tried to calm her down. She wasn't listening. Black woman, why why can't you do this? Why does he? Why do you have to? Why do you have to always feel like you have to over talk, especially when we're when you you're given a chance to speak. And everybody be, it's how come it's okay for people to be quiet whenever you speak, but the minute they give a reply, you want to go off on a tangent and you want to interrupt every five minutes. It shows classlessness. It shows that it's not a stereotype, it's actually true. I mean, Dr. Johnson, he bit his tongue long enough. I, I'm done. It's fact remain is it's just it's, it's class I mean classless you saw how they couldn't get her to stop interrupting and then she didn't under at the end she still didn't understand the question you can't you can't tell a black woman nothing unless you put a white face over it and Roland Martin man sh- take out your tap dancing shoes brother you're in the club So, let this be a lesson on social media. There needs to be a group of women out there. there I know, there, I know there all, all women are like this. I don't even, what did I just tell you five minutes ago or a couple minutes ago? But the fact remains, there's not a group of women who go around. I mean, there are sisters out here who will, will check women like this. But there's, like, with men, men will pull on coattails quick. Women will let women say stupid shit and then, like, it's, like it's true. And that's how that's how the stereotypes and the myth keeps perpetuation, preparation, perpetuation. Sorry, I'm eating right now a pizza on um social media. Women need to call out this behavior, and I admire the women that do because they know I have their back regardless. Because like I said, if they can stand up and call something like this out, you have to give the people the back. You have to get you have to get your back. But uh, it's just it's just the ignorance that this broad showed is just truly amazing. I mean, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about the whole video in another video, but I just want to talk about the the ignorance and how the, how whenever a stereotype black women, it's not a stereotype when you got black women doing this. So I'm out. Thank you for watching. Peace. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. 
Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube.